everyone, it's Victoria Breeze Force here today. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my horse collection on Rival Stars because I've been playing Rival Stars for a very long time and I have accumulated some pretty nice horses because I really like the breeding aspect of this game. So to start us off, we have Stars Eclipse. Now, she is definitely a beast on the racetrack. If you look at her lifetime winnings, she is my top mare at the moment. She has max stats except for acceleration, which is at 51. And she also came from Sterling Legacy, which was another really good racer that I had. So overall, don't let her like tier fool you at being tier five because she's the only tier five horse I have. She's still definitely one of my top runners. Next up, we have Fatal Attraction. And he is level 30. He's a tier 6, or a star, whatever you want to call it. I like calling it tier. He has this lovely face marking, which is pretty unique and kind of hard to breed. Not to mention he has the side and the tail as well that's white. Overall, he's just, he's stunning. Not only that, but his stats are amazing. He has all max stats except for Sprint, which his starting stat for that would be 56 versus the other two, which are 57. But if you take a look at his lifetime winnings, he's definitely catching up to Star's Eclipse. And then his family tree isn't anything too interesting, but I'm just surprised that I got him out of that, you know? Next up, we have Illusion's Kiss, and she has decent stats. I believe Sprint and Speed are starting at 56, and then Acceleration is maxed at 57. Um, she's got good distance, and I just think she's definitely stunning, and I haven't seen many horses like her in the game, so I'm glad to have bred her. And she's also Fatal Attraction's daughter. And she has decent, like a decent family tree. Not really, but I just really like her coloring. Like, I wouldn't really use her as a breeder. I just like her for her looks how she is, and she has decent stats, too. Next up, we have the Hold Up. Now, the Hold Up is usually one of my breeding mares. I've kind of trained her. Not really. She has really nice stats, though. And she's got a really nice pedigree, or family tree, because she has some of the black horses in there. And then we have this one, which used to be my horse, and she was beautiful as well. We also have Fatal Attraction. So there's a lot of good in her family tree. I should train her up. I don't know if I'll ever get around to it. I probably will, because usually I like to breed versus train my horses up, but right now I'm focusing on training them up. Next up, we have Worst Nightmare. And again, she has the same starting stats as um, Fatal Attraction, and she can go a little bit less for distance for her preferences, but besides that, I think she would be a great racer, but I haven't even really trained her at all. I use her more or less for a breeding mare, but I should probably get on that because she would probably be really good too. And she has a beautiful family treat as well. Next up, we have Dreamer's Dilemma. She, I believe, has good stats. I don't quite remember, like, starting stats. And she's been one of the horses I've been focusing on training up right now. Because in my opinion, she's kind of like a buckskin, but she has the cool side markings and tail markings. And I just think, overall, she's a stunning horse to look at. And her family tree is nothing major, but the outcome is beautiful. Next up, we have Saturn's Rings. Now, this horse is an all max stat horse. So for what I can breed, he has the max starting stats, which are all 57. So I've been working on training him up, but he's the first all max stat horse that I've ever gotten. And he came from Fatal Attraction 2 as his grandparent. He has a beautiful family tree and obviously he has beautiful stats as well and he is probably going to be my head stallion when i get him completely trained up 
Next up we have Phoenix Rising, which is my only tier seven horse. And yes, I named him after Heartland, sorry for the pause, but I named him after Phoenix and Heartland. He has some nice lifetime winnings. I mean, I like him more or less for his coloring, but his stats, honestly, they're not really anything too great, if I'm being honest, but I'm not gonna complain because I did buy him. His pedigree is nothing special, but overall, he is a stunning horse, and he does decent on the racetrack. Next up, we have Glistening Gold, and she is my second all max stat female for starting stats. Well, horse, but she's my female, whereas Saturn's Rings is my male. And I haven't done much training with her, but I'm trying to keep constantly winning in first place with her, like keep it even. I don't know if that's going to happen, but she's very shiny and very, very stunning. And then her family tree is nothing too great, but overall it created a great horse. Next up we have Dangerous Dream, which some of these horses names I don't really like, I just have. So if you have any horse suggestions or well, horse name suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. This is another one that I bought, mainly so I could read more of the face marking because like I said, it's kind of hard to get but his stats are terrible, which is why I have not done much with him at all. He's kind of just a breeding stallion. Next up, we have Death's Dream. And if I were to sell a horse, she's probably gonna be the next horse I sell if I wanna start breeding more horses, cause right now my stable is full. But I thought she looked very unique. Stats are not half bad. I mean, 56, 56, 57, so close to being max, but not exactly. I just thought her coat was beautiful and she was helping me as you can see get that face but I wanted to pair it with more paints so that's what I was working on with her so her family tree is helpful in that aspect so if anything I might either sell her or use her for a breeding mare if I get enough room next up we have millionaires bet now speaking of death's dream <laughs> I believe help me create Millionaire's Bet because I wanted a paint horse that had really good stats because most paint horses that you get in the game, the stats are terrible. So she has all max stats except for acceleration, which if you want to focus on stats, acceleration is not one you really need to focus on. It's mainly speed and sprint energy. So her, I feel like she's going to be great on the racetrack. And like I said, she's a paint. So she was a project horse. I don't know when I'll get to training her up because I have a horse that I'm going to show you that I'm focusing on right now, but she's definitely one that I want to start focusing on in the future. Not only that, but she has a decent family tree. It's nothing too special, but I feel if she had offspring, we would probably get like some paints or some of the cool like side pattern. I don't know what you call that. Next up we have Lord of Legacy. I have not done much racing with her but she does have the face marking and she is a paint. Stats, not the best of the best, but like, I don't even care. Like she's cute, she ain't going anywhere. And like I said, acceleration really doesn't matter to me. So the fact that she does have good speed and sprint, that's all I'm really looking for. And she has a nice family treat too, because I believe like this horse, and this horse had like the Appaloosa type coloring near like the butt. I don't know what it's called. If you wanna let me know in the comments, feel free to do so. But she has a beautiful family tree because these are all paints. So I was using her for a breeder. The first time I bred her, I bred her with Fatal Attraction, which is my head male. And I'm gonna show you the results because honestly, I think it's pretty amazing. Are you ready? This is heaven come. And his stats are not the best, but at this point, I don't care. I have max stat horses. I don't really need any more to be honest, but he is just <coughs> stunning. It's really hard to get that pink muzzle. 
and usually when you get it it's on like a not so great stat horse or one that like there's not really anything else going for it but this horse like i said he takes after fatal attraction with the body markings and then his tail is lighter than his mane but that face is beautiful so he's my project horse right now that i'm trying to train up and so his pedigree i feel like if you kept breeding for these faces or whatnot, you would have some nice offspring. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe I will in the future. But right now I'm focusing on training because the only, oops, the only goal I have left for the story quest is to sell a sprint, sell a horse with sprint energy of 135 or above, but I got more into breeding. So that's what I was focusing on because I really like the breeding aspect, like I said. So I figure we should do a race. Oh, give me one second to clear out my storehouse or sell some stuff. And we can see probably what Fatal Attraction has. I don't know. We'll see. Because here's the races that I have unlocked and usually I just go for the one that you can win the most money on. So it would be this one. So Phoenix Rising has the best bet on that, but I say we give Fatal Attraction a go. Let's see how he does. We're underway here at Secura Valley. Dangerous Difference takes the early lead. Mystic Function right up there with the leader. Mystic Function in the lead. Supersonic Steam wants the front. Trying to brush off Dangerous Difference. Putting up a challenge to number four. Struggling with Sweetheart's Gear. Followed by Abacus Beauty. Toe to toe with Melancholy Machine. Then as the race moves on, it's Dangerous Difference. Gadget Spies gaining momentum and flying through. Trusty Tactic charging through. Event Archetype with a magnificent run. Murders Midnight pushing past horses. Dozing Captain with a brilliant turn of foot. Dangerous Difference holds the lead. Melancholy Machine is coming with a huge run. Wisdom's Holiday gaining momentum and flying through. Dozing Captain charging through. Gossip Acts with a magnificent run. Event Archetype pushing past horses. Dangerous Difference is running for fun. Trusty Tactic charging through. Calm Memory gaining momentum and flying through. Event Archetype with a magnificent run. Pounding down the course, it's Dangerous Difference. Number four needs to get more comfortable. Plate Wax pushing past horses. In the straight, it's Dangerous Difference. Plate Wax is coming home from the clouds. Plate Wax with an explosive final run on the outside. Dangerous Difference, punched out and won it. Melancholy Machine, second, third at the line, number four. So that was not one of his best races, but that's fine by me. So yeah, guys, that, well, I should say, those are all my horses and rival stars. Let me know what one you like most down below. I have quite the collection. I would say probably Fatal Attraction's my favorite or my new guy, Heaven Come. I can't wait to breed him up and see what kind of babies he has. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you guys want to see more Rival Star videos, maybe like Let's Plays or like racing tips or anything like that. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one.